were pleased to get the, the DFS completed earlier this year. And that was followed up with a business case uh, on the heat leach operation. Those two together uh, uh, have a uh, outline a project that will produce around about 15,000 ton a year of copper equivalent. They, uh, we will deliver about 400 million in free cash from the project over an HM mine life. That'll mean about 50 million a year in uh, free cash flow, flow over the, the, the life, so per year. We'll produce copper, zinc and lead concentrates. In addition to that, we'll produce copper cathode and zinc sulfate from the heat bleach. The project will sit in uh, probably the second quartile in terms of all in sustaining costs. So about $2.30 a pound US, uh, which is really fantastic for a project of our size. We really hit way above our weight um, in that regard. And importantly, uh, we got all of the permitting in place. So the project is now fully permitted and approved um, for development. Uh, the, the development timeline, I expect, will be about 18 months. So as soon as we get the, uh, the funding in place, we're working hard on the, the debt funding at the minute, we'll be in a position to start that development process. And uh, you know, ultimately, we expect to be in production in uh, 2025. sit in a, in a fantastic region uh, up in the Pilbara, right next door to the De Grey tenements and uh, we're about 60 kilometers from the Andover project. We sit right within that lithium corridor. Uh, our tenements cover the full width of the Wim, the Wim Creek uh, Greenstone Belt, which is an Archean Greenstone Belt. Uh, the rocks that we have are um, uh, mafic intrusives. They're somewhat similar to um, the Anover um, intrusives, and uh, there's lots of potential for uh, a lithium discovery. We have already advanced our lithium exploration um, with a lot of geochem work. We've identified lithium in the soils, uh, more so up at the, the northern part of our tenure, up at with Ma and then down in the southern part at, at, at Louds Patch. So the next step is to uh, take that to the to the, the drilling stage. We've identified uh, priority targets and we, we look forward to um, getting in and being able to drill those. In terms of the gold, we also sit um, on the same uh, structures that run across the Grey Tenure. Uh, the, the, the Loudons fault that they've been so successful in um, their exploration on. And we've, um, again, we've had some success on the gold exploration side of things. We've identified gold, uh, gold through geochem techniques. Uh, we did some drilling as well, uh, some, some limited drilling, identified some gold right next door to our heat bleach facility. And, uh, you know, we're really just scratching the surface from the, the gold perspective. So. We, you know, we find ourselves in this emerging lithium province, uh, somewhat established gold province, sitting right in the middle of it. Uh, and all of this is just upside to the copper project, of course. Yeah, so we look forward to a big year next year. Uh, we're looking at the getting the debt funding bedded down for uh, Wim Creek and we expect that uh, the equity funding will follow in behind that. We're well advanced on that. We have a number of uh, trading groups that we're talking to, uh, including Anglo-American who are still in the mix. Uh, the plan is to bed down the debt funding, then look to secure the uh, equity funding and get into the project development as soon as possible. The timing on that looks to be ideal, just as the copper market seems to be turning. There's, uh, you know, clearly uh, the, the demand for copper continues to grow and will be one of uh, very few projects in Australia uh, that will be ready to start producing within an 18 month uh, timeframe. 
The exploration is um, very exciting. I've just described the lithium and gold exploration. So we will look to get some drilling done uh, on the lithium side of things. That um, is uh, contingent on getting uh, clearances, heritage clearances. We're working away on getting those in place and aim to be drilling early next year. That's the plan. Uh, and then equally importantly, we have outlined the strategy to become the processing hub within the Pilbara. And I um, mentioned a little earlier on that we'll have the capacity to treat both oxide and uh, sulfide material. Because we've got the heat bleach and because we'll have a concentrator, we can pretty much treat any ore within our region, oxide transition or sulfides. And we aim to become the consolidator within the Pilbara. We have the infrastructure, the capacity to get in there and uh, essentially provide a processing solution for our neighbors, uh, many of whom don't have the scale to, uh, to, to go ahead and build their own infrastructure. And ultimately we aim to become a 20 to 30,000 uh, copper equivalent producer uh, annually. That's our target.